Uh, so let me be straight. Prince Harry is a liar. But he's one of those liars who has created a delusional fantasy world where he lives in perpetuity, surrounded by yes men, staff members who are paid big money to stay slavishly loyal, and a wife whose goal has been to drive a wedge between the Duke of Delusion and his blood relatives. So as we have seen in these three disturbing interviews with his close allies over the past 24 hours, this is an ultra-privileged man no longer in touch with reality. A man whose personal vendetta is against his own flesh and blood for daring to work with the British media overrule everything be it uh, the freedom of the press, the future success of the monarchy, or even, even the truth itself. I think it was summed up best in this extraordinary moment where Harry farcically claimed he and his race-baiting wife, Meghan Markle, haven't spent the past two years working on an international campaign spanning Oprah, Netflix, and the rest of the woke media to incorrectly portray the British royal family as racist. About accountability, mm. In the Oprah interview, you accuse members of your family of racism. You don't even... No, we didn't. Well, of... The British press said that. Right. I... Did, did Meghan ever mention that they were racist? She said there were troubling comments about... Yeah, oh, there, there was skin concern color. about his skin colour. Right. Wouldn't you describe that as essentially racist? I wouldn't, not having lived within that family. Oh, yes, it's always the media's fault, isn't it, Harry? Nothing to do with the fact your wife, backed up by you, launched a witch hunt for the so-called royal racist in front of millions of viewers across the world that you allowed to go on for months. And he has the cheek now to ask his family for, wait for it, private conversations. With regard to this interview, I, you know, I don't know whether they'll be, you know, watching this or not, but what they have to say to me and what I have to say to them will be in private, and I hope it can stay that way. That coming from the bloke who revealed the private words uttered by the king in the moments after he had buried his own father and told the world his brother, the future king, is circumcised. I mean, it really is laughable. I actually don't know how so-called news organisations like ITV News, CBS and ABC continue to give Harry such a platform without being prepared to properly challenge his falsehoods and demand evidence, evidence which yet again he failed to produce as he made accusation after accusation about the royals conspiring with the media. His strongest criticism, although he insisted it wasn't an attack, of course, was towards dangerous Camilla for working with the devils in the British media to shock horror, improve her own reputation. Wrote that she started a campaign in the British press to pave the way for a marriage. And you wrote, I even wanted Camilla to be happy. Maybe she'd be less dangerous if she was happy. Mm -hmm. How was she dangerous? Because of the need for her to rehabilitate her image. That made her dangerous? That made her dangerous because of the connections that she was forging within the British press. And there was open willingness on both sides to trade of information. And with a family built on hierarchy and with her on the way to being queen consort, there was going to be people or bodies left in the street because of that. Hang on, Harry, you want to destroy your entire family because they brief the media every now and then when that's what your team did uh, for years, right up until Megxit. Now, I know, by the way, because I was one of those reporters who received that briefing from your own communications secretary. So it's time for some honesty from Harry and Meghan about how they used the tabloid media too. We all know that's not the reason that Harry has decided to end his relationship with William, a loyal brother who stuck by him through his darkest times. No. The real reason Harry has gone to war with his entire family is because he cannot accept that they made judgments about Meghan being difficult and rude and abrasive based on their own experiences. For him, of course, it has to come down to racism or unconscious bias or stereotyping or a media narrative. And some of the things that my brother and sister-in-law, some of the way that they were acting or behaving, definitely felt to me as though Unfortunately, that stereotyping was causing a bit of a barrier to them really sort of, you know, introducing or welcoming her in. What do you mean specifically? Well, American actress, divorced, biracial, there's, there's all different parts to that and what that can mean. 
Shamefully, Harry has even invoked the memory of his late mother, Princess Diana, today to attack Prince William. What would your mom feel about your relationship with your brother now? I think she would be sad. I think she'd be looking at, looking at it long term to know that there are certain things that we need to go through to be able to heal the relationship. I think she would be heartbroken that it's ended up where it's ended up. I think she'd be heartbroken about the fact that William, his office, were part of these stories. And William and I made a, made a pact, made a deal that no matter what, we would never let our offices fight against each other. Each other. Oh, come on. I loved Princess Diana. But there's no royal who worked more closely with the media, often to damage other members of the royal family. Now, Harry claims it's the media fueling the culture wall, while, in fact, it's his deranged campaigning against anyone who has a different position to him on issues like Brexit or the presidency of the democratically elected Donald Trump. But after threatening his family with all sorts, he promises that reconciliation will end the culture war he and Meghan started and unite the world. I genuinely believe, and I hope, that reconciliation between my family and us will have a ripple effect across the entire world. Maybe that's lofty, maybe that's naive, whatever, but I genuinely feel that. For me, it's always been about uniting people, and it breaks my heart that the British tabloid press have so successfully, hang on, have so successfully managed to create this divide and this conflict at the same time as a culture war in the UK. So keep living in that world of delusion if you want, Harry. But I believe all bridges are now burnt. Just like the disgraced Duke of Windsor and Wallace Simpson before them, Harry and Meghan must now be treated with silent disdain by the royal family.